In pulmonary hypertension, a pressure-loaded right ventricle results in a shift in the septum towards the left ventricle during systole, giving a characteristic D-shape of the left ventricle. In severe pulmonary hypertension, the septum may even lie within the left ventricle itself, as can be seen in this short axis view at the level of the left ventricular papillary muscles. The flattening of the interventricular septum towards the left ventricle results in D2 being greater than D1, which results in an abnormal eccentricity index that is greater than 1 in both diastole and systole. The eccentricity index is a measure of the degree of distortion of the left ventricle, and it can be calculated from the short axis view at the level of the left ventricular papillary muscles. It is calculated by measuring the minor axis of the left ventricle parallel to the septum, D2, and the minor axis of the left ventricle perpendicular to the septum, D1. The eccentricity index is calculated by dividing D2 by D1.